Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the deflection of beams. In this lecture, I'm going to uh, find the qualitative deflected shape of the different types of the beam with different loading condition and with the different support condition. First of all, we should know about the three different important support conditions. The first one is the roller support, which is used to support only vertical loads and it is usually represented in this by this symbol the second one is the hinge support hinge support is used to take the horizontal as well as the vertical loads so I can represent is it will take the vertical load and horizontal load right and this is being represented usually by this symbol by the triangle and with the fixed line the third one support is the fixed support which is used to take the vertical load the horizontal load as well as to resist the movement as well as to resist the rotation it means it will take the moment rotation so I'm going to draw the deflected shape of different types of the beam first I'm going to start from the simply supported beam it is a simple case simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load UDL so we have the hinge support, this is the hinge support and this is the roller support which cannot resist the rotation so the beam will rotate and will deflect in this way. There is no such uh, prevention to the rotation so this beam, this support will rotate in this way and this support will rotate in this way. So we have rotation at the ends while there is no vertical and horizontal movement because of the supports. So this beam will deflect in this way and the maximum deflection can be seen at the midpoint. Now let's consider the cantilever beam. This cantilever beam with the pointed load acting at the edge of the beam. Suppose this is P. So the deflected shape for this beam will look like in this way. The maximum deflection can be seen here. Maximum. In this case, this is a fixed support property that it can resist the vertical, horizontal as well as the resist the rotation. So there will be no rotation at this point, at this support. Rotation will start somewhat however at this point. Rotation will be start at this point. It may be at any point, it may be a point. So rotation will start from this point. There is no rotation at the fixed support. So this is the deflected shape of this beam. Now I'm going to draw the deflected shape of complicated types of the beam. Now let's consider this beam, which is the roller support and which provided with the hinge support and also with the fixed support at the end of the beam and my pointed load is acting only at this point of the beam so a deflected shape of this beam will be started the maximum deflection will be here so I will start my deflection here and there is a hinge support so there will be no deflection so I can bring it to the point here and then due to this point it will move up and then it will move here fixed support to the fixed support there will be no rotation it will move in this way so this is the deflected shape for this type of the beam first you should know that your deflection should be at this point where your load is acting and then moving it to the fix to the supports and then drawing it accordingly to the your support here is my fixed support so there will be no rotation because it is a fixed support property so my diagram should start away from this uh, some distance now considering the other type of the beam, let's suppose we have here hand su roll support, then again roll support, then again fixed support. And if that my load is acting at the middle of this two supports. So I can draw it here, it will deflect in this way, in this way, this way. There will be no rotation, there will be no rotation here at this point, while here we have rotation of the beam here. And here and this is the deflection at this point the maximum deflection here can be noticed at these three points now considering the one of the other cases if this is my beam with such type of support there's a hinge support there's a roller support there's again roller support and your hinge support and my load is acting in the form of distributed load is acting at this point so my deflected my deflected shape of the beam will look like 
it will start here the maximum reflection will be seen here the midpoint and then it will move again to the pole support and then again it will jump here and there so we have rotation here in this case it is a hinge support so we have rotation you can see here the, my diagram starts from the dial from the support here in this case my dial my deflected shape diagram should start away from the support like it start from here but in this case the diagram directly starts from the support because it cannot resist the rotation similarly the deflected shape diagram directly starts from the support because it cannot resist the rotation hope you guys understand how to draw the deflected shape uh, of any type of beam with the different conditions either the load condition or the support condition but you should know the three different support properties that which type of load is being resisted by which support and hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video Thank you.